Welcome to Star Wars on High. Thank you for stopping by. We are back. Hope your guys' 2022 is off to a good start. There is just so much to be excited about for Star Wars this year. So many changes coming to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying Jimmy and his content that has come over to this channel, as well as the Thursday night live streams. We're going to be doing kind of a rebrand there. We're going to give the show an official name. Um, so get ready for that. We're very excited for all the new Star Wars and content to come in 2022. Hope you guys are having a good start so far as well. And today we're going to be talking about Eye of the Storm, the most recent miniseries taking place in the High Republic. And there's been so much High Republic content on the channel recently because this is a big launch period right now. Fallen Star came out last Monday. Uh, I am over halfway done with the book, hoping to have a review out for you guys next week. So far, two thumbs up. So good. Um, but we did have Eye of the Storm. It's going to be a two-issue miniseries covering Markeon Row, the Eye of the Nihil. And, you know, this was something I had high on my most anticipated list for uh, this wave of content. And we're going to get two issues. I wish it was more. It's going to be two issues that are a little bit longer, about 30 uh, pages each. So it's $5, 30 pages. Um, part two comes out in February of this year. So you're going to have to wait a little bit of time. Now, Charles Soule did say this can be read at any time. I can confirm. Obviously, I read it. You can read this at any time. But issue two might be one of the last things you want to read of this wave of High Republic content. So that is certainly interesting. It means we're going to tell more stories in the current timeline, the current uh, place we are in the High Republic, which is exciting to say the least. But as you guys know, if you've been to my channel before, I'm a huge fan of the villains. I love bad guys in Star Wars. Um, to me, it is some of the most interesting storytelling can be done with the villains. And also, how good your villain is to me really indicates how good your story is going to be. Your heroes need to have a worthy threat. They need to have someone who challenges them. So I think it is so, so important you get the leader right. And one thing I really liked about the Nihil, I talked about this on uh, tonight's stream, actually, in, in some detail. With the Nihil, you have a group of you know marauders, a group of raiders, who really possess no real threat to overthrowing the Republic, right? I don't think any of us feel like they do but they play to their strengths so well. What I mean by that is they have such reckless, careless self-preservation. They're going all out. They're, they're, they're cruel. They don't care about life of others, life of themselves. They, they turn on each other. They turn on anyone who opposes them. And at the head, the eye of the storm, Markeon Rowe, he does have the ambition. He does have the plan. And he uses these people to do his grand vision, to implement that. Because they have no self-preservation, because they're so wild and reckless, he has harnessed that and constantly fights the Jedi on terms he can win taking out innocence, causing chaos. Uh, I love the fact that he challenges them in ways that aren't just, hey, I have a big fleet, let's go to battle. I find that so, so smart uh, of the creative team of the writers. And so we finally got to learn more about Mark Yonro's backstory in here. And I'm gonna keep this spoiler free because frankly, this is not a big enough issue that I feel like it's it, it would have any value to you if I spoiled a lot of the core tenets. So I, I want you to go out and read this, especially if you're a big Mark Yonro fan like I am. Uh, I picked it up on Comixology, and if you can tell already by my recommendation, this is probably a, to be a must pick up. I really love these types of stories, and it's continuing to help flesh out these characters that we know and love. Um, <laughs> maybe love's not the right word, but for me, we finally can confirm um, some things about his backstory, and I thought that was important. We do learn more about his planet, his home world, his species, which I thought was kind of an interesting story to say the least, and it also helps fill in some gaps from the early High Republic novels and stories, so that was important to me as well. So if those things were on your list, you're going to be satisfied. I think Charles Soule does a really good job in his storytelling. I think Letter of the Jedi was one of the strongest High Republic novels, and so this is his two-part series, and the strengths come through here as well. I think the art is really positive. I love the cover, obviously. That sets the tone, but as we go through the pages, I think it's really well designed and crafted. Um, and what's really nice about this one, unlike some of the larger, more intertwined, connected comic series where you have to read 15, 20 issues, this is going to be two parts. So even though it's short, and I'd love some more, for the fans who don't maybe have the money or the time to invest in those longer arcs, you can dive into this little two-issue miniseries and get a complete tale that connects to the High Republic universe at large. So I really like that about it as well. But overall, for me, why I'm so excited for this story, why I was so excited and pleased, was 
I love how this higher public ecosystem continues to grow. It continues to feel more connected, more lived in. Like there's 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 a community outside of the stories, us, we're that community, but there's also a world inside that we're growing more and more close to. And so little stories like this that paint in those gaps and get us more connected to these characters, I think will continue to pay off as time moves forward. Whether it's from High Republic uh, eventual shows in that world or video games coming out like Eclipse, you know, to me, this is such a strong foundation and a, and a group of authors who who really wants to connect with the community and a group of the creative teams from uh, Christina Ariel, the host of the show, to all the individual authors, inter, you know, engaging with us on Twitter, engaging with us where they can, doing panels, uh, doing little trailers and launch events. I think it's just a really cool thing right now. And for all the fans who kind of dismissed it out of hand and, and, and look the other way, um, I think have missed out on a really fun little segment of the Star Wars universe they could have they could join in on, and I hope they do. As we travel to new phases of this initiative, as we see new stories and new mediums be brought up, I hope it pulls folks back to this world and they enjoy all the stories we have uh, over the last year. So I Have the Storm, for me, is a firm recommendation. Um, to me, it was a must-read. I, I want to know everything about the villains that I can, especially Mark Yonro, who to me is really one of the most interesting things about the High Republic. Again, I can't say this enough. Um, when you pitch at a, an event, okay, it's Star Wars, but they're fighting raiders, Vikings, space Vikings, pirates. You're like, ugh, what? Like, I want to see the Sith. I want to see the dark side of the Force. You know, that's what's interesting. That the, these these raiders won't stand a chance against the Jedi. But how they've been able to craft a story that has me believing that they can cause serious damage and a serious threat. Two thumbs up. Good work to the whole creative team. Another win for me in the higher public. I think the story. It's a whole lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think down below. I will tell you, we'll be doing detailed breakdowns of this wave. It's a goal for the channel. Jimmy and I are going to try to put together a breakdown of this entire phase of content, like phase one of the High Republic. We'd love to do a detailed, long video of all of the stories, all of the characters. It's a huge goal. I'm not sure we'll be able to do it, but we'd love to do it before the next phase starts in October of this year. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're sticking around and, and paying attention to the channel. We love all your support. We appreciate all your support. We look forward to seeing you in our weekly streams, checking out our new shorts, breaking down all of the Jedi. We're starting with the High Republic, of course. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. So thank you guys again for stopping by. We do, again, appreciate all your support. Hope you guys are staying healthy, safe, and enjoying the new year. Until next time, guys, we'll see you again very soon.